I'm Jacqueline Stewart, coming to you from the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures in Los Angeles. Thanks for joining me for the first Silent Sunday Night feature of 2024. Tonight, we're taking a look at a swashbuckling drama starring John Gilbert that was produced nearly 100 years ago. From MGM in 1926, it's Bartoli's The Magnificent. Set in France during the reign of Louis XIII, the story begins when the king sends a young nobleman to win the heart of a wealthy woman. The goal is to keep her fortune inside the kingdom. He returns claiming the woman is unapproachable. So a rival courtier and notorious womanizer, played by John Gilbert, bets his entire estate that he can succeed at seducing her. The movie was adapted from a novel by Raphael Sabatini, the author of many swashbuckling adventures that translated well to the big screen, including Scaramouche, and Captain Blood. Bartolese the Magnificent gave John Gilbert the chance to play the kind of roguish lover he was famous for. And the movie teamed him up for the fifth and final time with director King Vidor. One year earlier, Gilbert and Vidor had made the immensely successful World War I epic, The Big Parade, a career highlight for both men. Their final film together was Bartolese the Magnificent. Before a long time, it was considered lost. Only a small clip survived, which could be seen in Vidor's 1928 spoof of the movie industry, Show People. Then in 2006, eight decades after the film originally premiered, a single surviving print was discovered in France. It was in poor shape and missing a reel, but using production stills and shots from a surviving trailer, the missing reel was effectively reconstructed. The film was re-released in 2008, and that's the version we're about to see. From MGM in 1926, also with Eleanor Boardman, who married King Vidor the same year. Here is Bartley's The Magnificent. Bartley's The Magnificent was based on a novel by Raphael Sabatini and adapted by one of MGM's top screenwriters, Dorothy Farnham. Farnham began her career as an actress and started out working in front of the cameras in 1915. She was known in Hollywood not only for her striking physical beauty, but also her intelligence. Educated in a convent school, she mastered French history and literature and was fluent in German and Spanish. While she was a capable actress, she preferred working in films as a writer. She scored an early hit with the 1924 film Beau Brummel, which was a vehicle for John Barrymore. And Barrymore told the LA Times that with that script, Dorothy Farnham had given him his greatest role to date. His compliment gave Farnham's career a significant boost, and she became one of the most successful screenwriters at MGM during the silent era. Up next, Alicia Malone is here with this week's TCM Import. And I'll be back next week when Silent Sunday Nights returns. I'm Jacqueline Stewart. Thanks for watching. Next on TCM, The Vanishing then insomnia, and later, make me a star. TCM shines bright tonight.